Good afternoon, more Medic One. Today, I have an electric clutch on the bench that we're going to diagnose. Uh, basically, you have three parts. You have your electromagnet, you have your clutch, uh, your pressure plate, clutch uh, pressure plate, and then you have your clutch disc, and then your snap ring and the bolt that holds it on. Uh, basically, what you want to do to test the, uh, the electromagnet, you want to hook your VOM meter to the leads right here. Oops, sorry about that. And most electric clutches, you want to swap it to ohms. And it should read 2 to 4 ohms. This electromagnet is actually good. Now, if your meter reads OL, which means open line, or if your meter reads nothing or point one that means your clutch is shorted out if it's open line that means you have a break in the wiring but uh, I'm gonna hook it back up here this clutch is good or the electromagnet is good uh, just inspect your clutch pressure plate and the bearing make sure this is good and your disc this is the problem this piece is supposed to be one whole rigid piece to this disc. This is where the it mounts to the engine. But if you look, it's loose on the shaft. See where they swedge it on there? This is actually going to be a warranty, so I'm just going to replace the clutch. Uh, you can't even buy parts for the clutch anyway, so you're going to be out about 290 bucks for a new clutch. Um, if this was out of warranty, if it's in warranty, then it's definitely a manufacturer's defect. But uh, other than that, if it's out of warranty, uh, you're just going to have to shell out the dough. Um, I hate to tell you that, but it's, uh, electric clutches are one of those things that just go bad. If you have any questions, more Medic One. Have a good day.